Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. In this video, we are going to discuss how to create a neon like effect in 3ds Max with Arnold. Now, 3ds Max, uh, I have already uh, created a tutorial, the same uh, scenario, uh, how to create in Maya. And somebody has actually asked me, uh, you know, uh, if we can get it uh, the same in, in 3ds Max also through Arnold. So, here it is. So, this is the output that I'm going to uh, achieve. Uh, and you can see I haven't actually used any sort of light. Uh, you can see there's a small light out there. The, I have used this for a very different purpose because uh, you can see that uh, the light is actually is not turned on. So let me show you how how I can actually achieve this one. So I have already prepared this scene over here. Just deleting this uh, stuff. Okay. So I have taken one uh, plane over here and in front of it I have used a text uh, from, from using the splines. Uh, so uh, here, okay, and I typed in the same text, I have used an extrude. So I have created two different text, one is without extrude which is in the back side of my render uh, the backside which is near to the wall here you can see I have uh, there are two textures out there yeah so yeah there are two textures out there one is uh, with extrude another one is without extrude so let me let me delete the front one first I'll just give you Okay, so now this is a text with an extrusion amount of absolutely zero, so there is no uh, you know, depth in that that much, or you can add some some amount like say one maybe, yeah, that will be fine. And I have taken a, a simple plane and applied a very basic texture of wall of brick wall, and that's it so i am going to so we are achieving this particular effect through uh, textures only we don't have to use any sort of light uh, because we 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 have to create uh, you know uh, this as a self illumination object so for that thing what i have to do we have to go to the material editor and let me delete my material that that is that I actually used for this hard rock text so I have used a very standard uh, surface material in uh, from Arnold now uh, let me tell you that uh, you if you don't see the Arnold uh, material list over here so you have to go to the render setups and you have to set your renderer to Arnold then only you can see if it is in the uh, scanline render you won't see the uh, Arnold materials also so that you have to be uh, turned uh, you have to turn on the uh, Arnold renderer as well as you can uh, go to the active shade mode and turn that also into Arnold renderer because I would like to see uh, the kind of changes that I'm actually making in my uh, material or the shader uh, which should actually reflect on my render so I'm going to use the active shade render uh, here you can see and now I'm going to create a new standard material so here and I select my object from here it's it will it will keep updating sorry it will keep updating as my as I'm using different viewport so right click on this assign material to the selection and immediately you can see I have my standard material over here now <coughs> if you double click on the standard material you will have your uh, options will be visible and you have to ignore everything uh, over here and you have to straight go to the uh, option called emission so Arnold actually calculate this as in a, a light emitting object so if you uh, hit 
let's say 1 immediately you will see that this particular will start getting effect but the problem is that my amount will also has to be increased uh, periodically so now I can change my uh, color from here what kind of colors you want any sort of specific colors you want you can turn okay but you can see it's still uh, the 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 entire this is not something which I'm, I actually get uh, uh, as it has been lit up the entire scene or it lit up the scene through this particular uh, object so for that I have a small trick which I, which I generally use in, in uh, 3ds max for even I have used this for uh, global illumination also uh, uh, in in mental ray and I use the same technique over here also I create an omni light and I just turn this off so what happened this uh, that omni light is stable uh, present in the in the viewport but uh, you won't you won't uh, get any sort of uh, you know uh, output uh, or you, you don't get any any sort of an uh, effect of that same uh, uh, omni so what you can do is you can put that over there and you can even hide that one but you have to be remember you have to remember that what you have uh, that you have done because otherwise sometimes you have, you know you you need to reset your entire scene and you should forget about that so be careful about it you just uh, rename that particular light as in fake light and that's it you can you you actually got your uh, neon look over over your screen now I would recommend you to you know go to the render setup and make some tweaking to get rid of the noises I'm not going to you know uh, get into deep inside the uh, values and and all these things but uh, definitely I would not require the specular because there is no specular as such in my scene there is no transmission at all no triple s at all and no indirect uh, volume indirect is is actually out there now we will lift the diffuse and if I increase that and hit render you can see that the noise the amount of noise has been uh, reduced a way too much I mean uh, is all almost gone so you have to be careful about that and after that you can use the uh, uh, the camera a value a little bit up be careful about this one because that will uh, maximize the the uh, total number of rays per pixels and you have to re-render it you can uh, remove get rid of the active shade and go back to my final render and you can take that final render from there which I have already oops I think that active set has been compromised so that has to be zero fine and I'll increase that amount also my camera and that's it so if you hit render you will see that uh, your object is getting illuminated and your scene is actually uh, getting illuminated from from that object only so let me just cancel this render for the time being so what I have done earlier uh, starting on the beginning of the scene is I have made a duplicate of this in front of it and uh, the front one I have removed the extrude or you can just reduce the amount of it and you can imply another material which is a standard material over here and assign this material to selection and then if you hit render 
we'll see you will get the oh sorry uh, you hit render yep so you will get a sorry leave it a little bit of gap if you want and then hit render and you can see your object is actually behind the uh, the initial blockage and when the render will be done you will see uh, your yeah so you can get that kind of a look where, where the back side of, of your text is actually illuminating the entire scene or else if you don't want that uh, uh, from from a front so what you can do is you can just simply leave it leave the uh, front part and you just uh, create your neon look through through the extruded text so this is the way where uh, where I have used the uh, this uh, this technique which through which actually works through the materials or the shader which Arnold have apart from this there is another technique where which you can actually achieve which is through lights also where uh, the similar kind of things will be happen but it will uh, the process is a little bit of different so what I'm going to do is I'm just deleting this and I will deleting the extra light that I have created and go to the Arnold light and I create one Arnold light and from the top and in the Arnold light what I'm going to use is I'm not going to use uh, this as a quad type I'll change it to mesh and I select my mesh uh, the, the resource mesh is has to be uh, that the text so now if you hit render you will see the similar similar sort of effect will come out because uh, I have I have actually used uh, a, a texture based uh, sorry a light based calculation and that's where you don't worry about to fake the light over here because the light uh, you have already created a, a light I inside your uh, inside your seen and the default light calculation is automatically been ignored so this is another way where you can actually achieve the uh, uh, the neon look in inside your scene and uh, which is also a very uh, interesting uh, way to uh, achieve it uh, but sometimes it happens ki we, we forgot the again uh, as the light is still there you sometimes it might happen that we, we forgot that what which uh, is the purpose of that particular light because uh, there is no such uh, a light which is emitting this and all and what is what is the use of it so it's better to re, uh, rename that light uh, as a mesh light or maybe the text that uh, uh, the the neon t uh, text that you are using like a club or motel or, or anything and uh, just to rename that particular light accordingly so that you don't uh, uh, you know uh, accidentally delete the stuff and while you render you see that there is no effect on the neon so that's it for the uh, for this particular tutorial hope you enjoy this uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, also follow us in Facebook and Twitter thank you very much